Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another Blender 2.8 video editing tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be looking at fade in, fade out, or we could call it fade from black and fade to black. So let's look at that right now. Okay, we're set up in the same um, setup we were in, in the last couple of videos. Um, if you haven't watched those yet, you can find those in the playlist in the description. However, um, this one we're going to look at fade in and fade out. So you can do this uh, to an image or a color. Um, obviously you'd have to import an image if you would want to do that, but for the sake of this we're going to um, add a color. Let's see here. Color. So you go to add color and you can change the color, but we're going to stick with black. So we have this black color here. We can make it as big as we want, but we want to fade into that. And then again, fade out from it. So we'll get it set up where we want it. I want it to fade out about right here, and then we'll left click, shift, left click, G, and then slide on over. And I think that'll work about right there, and then we can adjust this clip here by just holding that arrow and dragging it over. Okay, so the, the transition's about the same size on each one. Much like the crossfade, we are just going to click the video file, shift, click the color. And don't worry about this one yet. Then we're gonna go up to add, Oops, add, transitions, cross, and that'll create our fade out. Now to fade in, we have to click the color first. So we click the color strip, shift, click the video, the next video strip that we're fading into, add, transitions, cross, and there we have our fade out and fade in. So if we watch that, turn the volume down here. If we watch that, the setup's pretty, yeah, pretty fade simple out pretty to black. And a fade. It blows out. Hot air. Works pretty well. Again, it's just like I've said before, Blender sometimes takes you on a little bit longer route to get to something you want to do, but it's very powerful and still does what you needed to do in the end. As long as you know how to do it, it's pretty quick. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you let us know in the comments if you have any questions or, <clears throat> or comments. And I hope you'll keep tuning in to what we're doing here with this Blender video editing tutorial series and uh, learn this great program we're great supporters of it and we really really love it so again thanks for watching guys and uh, i'll see you in the next one